Just as you have an obligation to be courageous about the challenges that confront you in the present, and, and just as that's the best way of dealing with those challenges, your default attitude towards the future should be, bring it on, we can handle it. And I would also say that if that is your default at attitude, you're much more likely to be successful in your dealings with the future. And one of the things I've learned about classic religious or metaphysical faith is that a tremendous proportion of that is the faith that is courage. Right? The courage to confront the unknown in the future with standing up straight with shoulders back, right? with the presumption that despite our flaws, we're intrinsically good, despite the misery in the world, it's intrinsically good, and that that's the relationship we should establish with it. So that's the first part of the arc motivational message. And the second part is that part of the way that you face the future in a manner that makes of it the best it could be is to do that responsibly. To take responsibility for yourself, to put your life together, to tell the truth, to pursue high order aims, to take responsibility for your marital partner and vice versa, to do the same with your family, your local community, your town, your city, and that's your identity that nested social web of obligations. That's your identity and, and also that the meaning in your life is going to emerge as a consequence of shouldering that responsibility. The meaning and the adventure in your life. And so confront the future with faith and courage and accept the responsibility that's commensurate with that and that's the way you set the world straight and that's not a political solution. That's a spiritual solution or a psychological solution. Now, it has political ramifications, but we're much more interested at ARC and at the ARC conference with the, with the underlying substrate, the substrate about which the culture war is really raging, right? About the, the ultimate nature of reality in some, in some way and, and how, you, on how you construe that. I think to some degree you have to construe it as a matter of faith, eh? because we're all ignorant and limited in our knowledge, and so we have to make first pass approximations at what we're going to presume to be true. And so one set of presumptions is open your eyes, confront what frightens you, move forward stalwartly, aim up, tell the truth. There's no evidence that that's correct. but. You can start with that as a set of propositions, and then you could also make the claim, you, the claim, and I think this is a valid claim, you cannot be armed better in life other than with that set of propositions. And I think that's the Western claim, and that's what we're trying to communicate to the degree we can with this art conference.